Good morning, my collective family. This reading is going to be for my Virgos. This is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope you are doing amazing. I'm feeling amazing. Sending you blessings, peace, love, and light. And I thank you for all you're doing for our channel. We are really growing over here, and you guys are making me so emotional and so overwhelmed with joy. <laughs> it just makes me want to be more creative for you guys and want to really show up more for you guys. So I thank you guys for all you're doing over here for our new channel. Thank you guys for providing your love, light, and positive energy down in the comments section and all your beautiful messages you give me. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get started with your overall energy message. This is going to be a positive message to let you know what people adore about you. Um, to be honest, Virgo, you're a very admirable sign um, from your resilience to your heart hard work and diligence to your way to create ways to make a bag and always chasing money. But at the same time, you remain humble, balanced, and very kind hearted. Um, and you'll really help anybody. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you guys love me so much and you support me. I really believe that iron sharp is iron. So I'm very blessed and grateful to be here to give you these messages. Um, <laughs> Virgo, there's a lot I could say, but let me let the card speak to you. And I want to also let you see for yourself how proud spirit is. Um, of you and what these people are saying about you so let's go ahead and dive into your message holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guides thank you so much for bringing me here with my amazing virgos thank you for all you do in the divine realm seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day we appreciate your love light and guidance spirit thank you so much holy spirit holy angels for blocking and binding all negative energy entities witchcraft and wickedness that may be coming up against this channel or your divine will for our lives we appreciate you giving us victory in every situation and abundance and overflow amen 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 thank you guys let's see wow right Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> These are really nice cards, Virgo. Do you see them? All right, let's go through them. Sweetie is happy. She got her toy and she just throws it up in the air and then jumps up and catches it. So she's happy to be here. I think she's feeling a positive energy. <laughs> she's having a time of her life over there. All right, let's um look at the bottom of the deck. The door to the infinite. Virgo, I feel like with this card, the door of the infinite being your overall energy, I feel like this door is open for you just simply because of who you are. Uh, we all have free will and we can always make the decision to do whatever we want, okay? You don't have to be a positive person. You don't have to be a loving vessel. You don't have to help people, um, but you do. And I feel like because you apply yourself to be your very best, the universe, God, the angels, they all are proud of you, all right? So this opens up a window of blessing and opportunity consistently for you. And for those of you who didn't realize that, yes, you just being your humanitarian-like self is opening windows of blessings for you. Um, you deciding to turn the other cheek opens up the window of blessings for you. Um, I feel like your positive energy, your love and your light, that it, it's like it's very strong. Your aura is very bright. And this really excites people. It ignites people. And I feel like that continuously has a door open for you. It's like a portal of blessings. Um, with this energy, you get replenished. With this energy, you get recharged, rejuvenated. And I feel like, like I said, continuous abundance and blessings, healing energy around you. I know a lot of you get sick, you get healed, and some people don't even recover um things like that of that nature and god bless anybody who is sick and having trouble recovering um but i see you virgo and so does heaven so does the universe so does god so that's commendable in itself all right um let's see here exactly what people adore about you and what they're saying all right the positive energy um number one they see you as a great creator they see you as a master manifester. They feel like you have so many ideas that are bright, okay, and that really work. They really help. Some people feel like you're always right. They appreciate and love your advice because they know that you're a master manifestation. This is giving magician energy, all right? Somebody just feels like you have a very blessed mind, and it's a blessing to be able to talk to you, 
It's a blessing to be able to have you pour your ideas into people. People really, really love your mind and your creative aspect. All right. They love the ideas that you come up with and they feel like you're very intelligent, very bright. All right. Almost genius like energy. Like when, when you think of an idea, they're like, oh my God, that was genius. That's a really good one. Like, yeah, people really love that about you, Virgo. They love your childlike energy. For a lot of you, you still tap into your inner child frequently. You have this jovial energy about you that make people remember their youth and remember to have fun. Like some of you will still jump on the bed. You'll jump and scare somebody. Like just little things that make people remember how fun, how lighthearted you really can be. And it's all about your choice. Some people like that meekness about you, that shyness about you. All right. People really adore these things about you. You really bring positive energy to people's lives. You help people remember like we all are children at heart. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to lighten up. It's okay to laugh. All right. People love that about you. Okay. That innocence, that purity, um, that relaxing, healing energy that surrounds you. People love it. You see this is surrounding this little girl. It's like all around her. And I feel like this is the inner child in you. People love that. Okay. People also adore the fact that you are so joyful. They love that you are so joyful and fun hearted. Like you're so fun loving. Um, people can count on you to bring positive vibes into the room. It's like when you walk into the room, everybody senses it because your aura is so strong. You love being joyful. And you know what? That's funny because one of my prayers is that when people encounter me, they experience the joy of the Lord. So I know that my energy makes people happy. And I feel like that's the same thing that happens to you people get people are delighted to see you come all right they love seeing you come in um and the only people that really don't are the people that are struggling with that you know we're often misunderstood and i know you can feel misunderstood a lot of times by people when you're just trying to live in this energy you're just trying to enjoy this energy and be appreciated and accepted um and sometimes people don't know how to take that because we're living in a kind of a cold world right now even though life is going to be what you make it but a lot of the people around are hurting they're sad they're confused they're trying to find their way and a lot of times this positive joyful type energy it just doesn't always resonate with them because it's so much hateful things going on um so many trying times you know so just hang in there virgo do more than hang in there just embrace who you are and continue to thrive and shine because it does help people people do love these things about you even if they don't fully understand how you're able to be in that energy all the time they still do love these things positive intentions people love that you set positive intentions people are amazed at how you're just intentional with being happy being positive um and it's not a front it's not a fake this is just who you are you know people really love how positive you are they love your positive ideas and how you keep a positive mindset um for a lot of you you look at the glass half full and people really really appreciate that positive energy all of them may not be able to tell you, but there's a lot of people that love how you set positive intentions, how you go about your days, how you look at the brighter side of situations and you choose not to be um, sad and hurt, even though we all have to experience those things for growth, you know, but you don't stay there and people really admire that about you, your resilience, okay, um, and your ability to keep going in a positive light. It's like even on your worst day, you'll help others and try to enlighten somebody and try to raise somebody's vibration so this is very um this is very commendable and very respectful people really really love this about you people most of all virgo they appreciate your awareness your wisdom your connection with spirit the spiritual aspect of you how divine you are this is your divinity people love that about you um it's not often that you encounter a person that you can have a conversation with about everything even the stars the moons the the energy you know people really appreciate that they feel like you are so wise on many many levels the hermit energy people love that about you um a lot of times you can bring people around full circle into being grounded into remembering who they are um into looking 
at their faith and having faith and um, your belief in God for a lot of you, like people love that. Even your belief in the universe and understanding the laws of attraction, people really benefit from your wisdom and your knowledge. They really appreciate you for that. These are beautiful traits about yourself that you should always be proud of and embrace, okay? Always be proud and embrace them. All right. Now let's see what um what what happens here. What what the spirit wants you to know about this energy. Let's see what else I can tell you about this energy that's around you. We have to work in a tarot message, so I'm definitely gonna do that. This was the oracle portion of your reading. Um, this is also oracle cards that I'm gonna use to open up a little bit more about you and your gifts. Um, and we're gonna talk now about if there's anything blocking you, you know, from being your highest self, because that's what I do here. Make sure that you are healing, make sure that you are elevating. This is a very positive channel of love, light, and positive energy and elevation. So it's important for me to make sure that I use my healing energy to make sure you're aware you're enlightened and you're evolving constantly so let's see what spirit wants you to know today about all this beautiful energy and what people are saying about you and we also want to know about this door to infinite possibilities what you should be doing next okay let's find out holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guides for virgos show virgo clear messages about this energy on the board let me get one on each card, please. I am creator. What about their creative mind? Thank you, spirit. What about their inner child? <laughs> Thank you. What about their joy? Their joyful energy. Thank you. What about their positive intentions? Wow, got two for that one and what about their spiritual awareness their enlightenment and their wisdom we're going to use a tarot for any advice for you wow one for the door of infinite possibilities for virgo thank you Okay, underneath the bottom of the deck, this is confirmation for everything I've said, and this is encouragement for you to walk in your gifts and be proud of yourself. We have unique gifts. Your greatest fulfillment in life will come when you discover your unique gifts. Develop and fine-tune your gifts so that you may share them with the world. Okay, so this is some advice for spirit for you guys who are still trying to find who you are spiritually and still trying to figure out all of your gifts. I mean, you know that you can speak positive, you know that you're wise, you know that you help people, but what else, right? So look into that, okay? Or learn how to be more than what you actually are, okay? So for I am creator, for your creative mind, we have rising crescent. This is saying it is time to set a new goal or dream, a new dream. It says you don't have to leave your comfort zone, just expand it. So spirit is encouraging you to use this creative mind that you have and do more. Okay. Yeah. Do more. Act on some of these amazing ideas that you're having. And your inner child, for your inner child, the innocence about you, the purity about you, spirit wants you to understand that you deserve to be blessed. You deserve good things to happen to you. Don't look at it as something foreign. You deserve it as much as anybody else. So accept your blessings. Believe that the door of abundance is waiting for you. The clearer the goals, the quicker you'll get there. Okay? So this is what spirit wants you to know. Be clear about your goals and it's definitely time for you to do some new things. So for your joyfulness that surrounds you, Spirit wants you to liberate yourself. Be proud of who you are. It says you don't have to carry your burdens alone. Have the courage to ask and accept help. Okay? So even though you're joyful, this energy is your surrounding energy, but Virgos like to suffer in silence. So you'll put this energy forefront and put your needs, your hurts, your pains deep in the inside. Spirit wants you to liberate yourself be joyful, be positive, and know that people love you to the point where they will help. 
All right. So don't be afraid to reach out. For those of you who wanted to get a personal reading, you can book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. I would love to pour into your life and plant some seeds of growth and encouragement and healing. All right. So if you're moved to do that, go ahead and do that. I'm always here to help as well. Okay. So with you setting your positive intentions, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about that energy. Um, and for my other channel, this is your daily message, guys. Good morning. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. All right. So a career transition could be on the horizon for you. It says reflect and reimagine your career. Decide to be intentional, proactive, and courageous about building a new career future. So some of you guys could be thinking about changing your career path. Setting positive intentions are important. So spirit is um, encouraging you to use your power here the same power that you use for other people and that you use to help and bring stability and balance look at all that all those blessings bless with more than enough because of your positive intentions spirit says do that with your career all right time for some type of career transition or you could be experiencing one so be very positive about that um and expand it's time to expand do something different also, with your positive intention, Spirit is saying, allow your higher good. Don't be upset because things didn't work out the way your ego planned. Have faith in that what is your highest good will come. All right. So Spirit wants you to continue to be intentional and continue to be positive about every outcome. All right. Know that you will continue to evolve and better things will come. Good things will continue to happen as long as you're positive. All right. And about awareness, walk in stillness. There is no choice to make right now. Just be still. You don't always need to join or jump into action. So use your intuition. This is how intuitive you are with your awareness. Use your intuition. Connect with it and move accordingly spirit says now is the time to just be still and enjoy the outcome enjoy the process enjoy the fruits of your labor for a lot of you and continue to use your intuition to know when to pull back for some of you the door to the infinite bad timing some of you guys could feel like things are happening at the wrong time you could be expecting a blessing to come but it might not quite be time for it this is encouraging you to have patience Everything will come to you in the right time. Be patient. Your time will come. All right. So just be patient and continue to thrive and move forward. All right. Now, let's get you some advice from Spirit and see what Spirit wants to tell you um, as far as this energy that we have on the board. Let's see. Uh-oh, guys. I knocked over my cards. <laughs> I definitely knocked over my cards. All right. So let's see. Let's use the angel tarot. I need to push my table back. <clears throat> Let's use the angel tarot for Virgo. Show me clear messages, spirit, for Virgo. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what the advice is for spirit. Holy spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guys, show Virgo advice. Let's see. I am creator. Advice for your creative mind. Eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Spirit is saying when these thoughts come, because some of you have beautiful ideas that you need to act on and you could be doubting yourself. So Spirit is saying you're not stuck. Be brave, be bold, and know that you have a beautiful mind and these creative ideas will work. All right? Accept your blessings. These will work. So whatever it is you're thinking about doing, it's time to take action. All right? Eight of air is the eight of source energy. So don't overthink it. Just go ahead and take action. All right? Now with your inner child and accepting your blessings, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you. Night of air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So things are picking up for you right now. It's time for you to not be emotional about it, not be stuck in your head and stuck in your feelings, but be very intentional, be very direct, um, and be it's be very diplomatic about this. All right. Um, I'm getting to tell you to be strategic here, okay, when it comes to your blessings and your inner child, because you do have this innocence about you, so it's time for you to definitely protect that innocence, but also take action, move forward, and be bold, okay, because these things are going to happen fast, so expect something to be happening quickly. Now, when it comes to joy, 
All right. And it can even have something to do with your children watching you evolve and grow. Three of fire, abundance, things looking very good. Patience at this time, make long term plans because this joy, I feel like this energy is definitely keeping the doors open for new possibilities. And with the three of fire, this is the three of wands, you feeling confident. All right. And spirit is confirming that you have abundance coming in. So things look very good for you. You're going to have a lot to celebrate and be more joyful about. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Congratulations, Virgo. All right. So now we are at positive intentions, setting your positive intentions. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, speak to Virgo. Eight of Earth. We are talking about skilled work being rewarded. Learn that learn all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. So it may be time to study. It may be time to um increase your knowledge. Okay. I'm getting more um enlightened, better awareness. So whatever this is that you're doing, whatever job that you have or whatever you're working toward, continue to know more about it. Continue to increase your knowledge in that area. Some of you um, are thinking about going back to school and Spirit is confirming that, yes, that is a bright thing to do. This is going to bring you a lot more abundance, okay? Um, walk in stillness here with your awareness. Let's see. Wow. Two cards flew out. Review and calculate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. All right. So it may be time for you to do something different. Walking in stillness. And then seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do some research, stop procrastinating. You have a bright idea and spirit is really pushing you to do that. All right. You're really being pushed to do that and you're being pushed to use your inner awareness on how to see you through doing this. So there's something that you maybe are thinking about doing and you definitely need to do it. Eight of earth is a positive outcome to whatever that is. Show me bad timing and everything will come to you at the right time. This is the door to the infinite. All right. Let's see. I just saw the seven of earth flipped over. So this means be patient. Your hard work is going to pay off. I tell you. Okay. Let's see. Plans that need revision. More going on that meets the eye. Poor timing. So watch out for poor timing. Use your better judgment. But ten of earth is here. A very happy family life and financial security. Finding the magic and the little things in life. So maybe you need to pull back your energy and take a break to focus on everything that is working for you. I'm getting be grateful and be patient and know that your time is coming. In the meantime, in between time, God wants you to work on yourself. Work on your peace. Work on the new ideas that you have while you watch the other ideas unfold the other seeds that you're planted that you've planted come into fruition yeah you're gonna have a lot of time to sleep later on in life right now is the time to take action okay <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so, so much. Thank you guys for being here for me. This was a very beautiful message, and I hope you appreciate all that people adore about you and this beautiful advice from spirit. I love you guys so much, okay? I really appreciate you guys. You're making me so happy over here, helping our channel grow, and I thank you wholeheartedly. I will see you on the next video. Bye, loveys.